What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to use the Path Array feature inside of the extension Sketch Plus in order to create copies of an object along a path in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright so this is one of the tools contained inside of the Sketch Plus tool set. I will link to a video down below where we talk a little bit more about all the tools inside of Sketch Plus, but in this case I want to focus on the option for the path array. I don't know what it is about creating copies along paths that's so much fun, but for some reason I just really enjoy that. Maybe I'm weird like that, but um, what I wanted to do is just kind of talk through some of the functions of that tool. So the way it works is in general, um, if you click on it, it's going to give you some instructions. So it's going to tell you to start off by selecting a path um, just like this. So we're going to select this option right here. Then you can activate the tool and it's going to tell you to click to set the start point of the path. So in this case I'm going to click right here and then it says to pick a component in your model. So notice how when I mouse over this component it shows that it's picking that up um, when I click on this. So I can click, well then once I set the component notice what it's going to do is it's going to basically create copies along this path um, fixed spaced between here and the end of the path. So when I move my mouse it's changing the spacing. We could also type in a value down here. So let's say I wanted these spaced at every like eight feet. I can just type in a value of eight feet and hit the enter key. Now obviously eight feet is not going to be ideal but it gives you an idea of what we could do here. And so one thing I wanted to talk about is the orientation of the object and how that's going to affect um, what we're trying to do. So right now, for example, when we do that, when we select our path and then click here on our object, notice how it's currently not facing the right direction, right? So if I was to click on this, these aren't actually going to follow along with our path. And so what we need to do is we need to adjust that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this object and set a larger spacing. So something like this right here. But then notice how down below there's an option for shift equals rotate instances with path. Well if I tap shift notice how what that does is that takes the red axis of this object and it places it aligned with the path right here. So what you can do is you can use that in order to automatically align with your path inside of SketchUp. So now if I was to click, notice how these actually follow along with the path that you placed in here. So you could use this in order to really quickly place objects along a path that face in the right direction. And so this can follow along with fairly complex paths as long as you make them actually one welded object. And so that's a lot easier in SketchUp 2021, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I was to add another arc in here like this, so we're going to add an arc, we'll place it, then we'll add an arc again, but now we want this object to go upward, right? So I'm just adding some different curves so that our path is just a little bit um, more three dimensional, right? Well, right now, let's say that we were to draw a box. So I'm just going to draw a simple box. So maybe like one foot, comma, one foot. Hit the enter key and then push pull it by a foot. So we've got a cube in here. Let's make this a component and click on create. Well, what we want to do is we want to copy this object along this entire three dimensional path, right? Well, we can't currently do that because if we select this, and then click on this object, it's just going to place the object on that first curve, right? So what we need to do is we need to weld this into a single path. And so you can do that by selecting all of your edges and inside of SketchUp 2021, there's an option for right click weld edges. Um, if that doesn't work, then you're going to need to download the weld extension from the SketchUp extension warehouse, which I will try to remember to link to in the notes down below. But now, this is all picked up as a single curve, right? So SketchUp looks at this and says, okay, that's a curve. I can copy an object along it. So now we're going to select it, click on our object, or I guess we can click on our start point first and then click on our object. We'll notice how now that object is going to get placed along this path based on the spacing that we set in here. So, and we could again tap the shift key in order to toggle rotate instance with path on and off like this. So usually you're going to want that on, but you can use this in order to place copies as many as you want along the path. And so one thing to note about this is with a tool like this, these objects are being placed based on the axis location, right? 
So these are currently being placed based on this location right here, um, the corner location, because that's where the axes are. So they're not really centered on this line. So what we could do is I'm gonna go ahead and undo this, and I'm gonna take this object and I'm gonna place the axes at, at the center of the object. And so one easy way to do that is there's actually a tool in here for change axes contained inside of Sketch Plus that lets you pick a location for your axes. So if we were to select this object and then click, Notice how this gives us a number of preset points in here for the object axes. So we can actually rotate around and find the central point and click, and then we're just gonna hit the escape key. So now, if we were to look at this object, notice how the object axes, if we were to turn x-ray mode on, is right in the middle of this object. So now, if we were to use the same tool, right? So if we were to use path array in here, set our first point, then click on our object, notice how now, all of these objects are actually centered along our path. So this gives us a lot of fine control of the way things are placed with this tool. And so another cool thing about this, and I mean, you can use the move tool to do this as well in copy mode, but one cool thing about this is you don't have to have a curve in here anymore. So, so one cool thing about this is it's not required to be a curve with this extension. So what that means is that means that, let's say I wanted to create a fence along this line right here. I don't have to have multiple edges welded together to create a curve. This will actually work with a straight edge like this. So if I was to activate path array, set my path, and then click on my object, I can use this to create something like fence posts really easily. And while you could definitely use the move tool, um, the array function, um, this gives you kind of a visual look at where these are gonna be placed. So I think this is a smoother way to place things if you're trying to get a visual idea of the way things are going to be placed inside of 3D. So um, you don't have to do it this way, but I find this to be something that's just a little bit more helpful for figuring out the way things are going to look when you're creating arrays along these straight paths. So that's just one of the 30 plus tools contained inside of Sketch Plus. I will link to a video on this page that talks through basically all of the tools and the way that they work. If you're interested in Sketch Plus, I will link to that on this page as well. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.